Spiegel, hello, welcome to Austria. Um, okay, this is your eighth race. How does it feel now compared to your first race? Yeah, difficult one. I remember the first one was really an adventure for us. We we was nervous for sure. We was in Fuschlamse with all the, the cracks and uh, the organization, which made, uh, uh, for me, it was a completely uh, more professional race than other competitions I, I flew before. And the media work, the, everybody was asking, the cameras everywhere, so it was a really new factor in, in, uh, in a challenging way. And now I know a little bit how it works and uh, my English improved, so I'm more relaxed in the interviews and things. So, And uh, yeah, for, for the other side, it's, uh, uh, I had not pressure. And this time I have a bit of pressure because uh, of the seven uh, victories. And yeah, what else? Uh, maybe the equipment changes. Um, now I, I have better equipment, lighter equipment, so it um, gives me more possibilities in, in the race. So yeah, in different ways it changed a lot. And mm. um, what are you flying? Now I fly the Omega. Omega ULS is a new new glider. You're not on the three. You were on the three famously for. Yeah, it's really, it's really old, so yeah, yeah. it's time to have a new one. <laughs> uh, tell us a little bit about the, the Omega ULS. How does it compare to the, the three? Yeah, the Omega ULS, it's, uh, it's a really nice glider. It's finishing uh, quite uh, close to the race and not have so many hours, um, but it's more light. It's more, more uh, feels more fun to fly in a, in a good way. And finally, we have to compare. Yesterday, I had a, a really good feeling because uh, performing well compared to the others, and it was, uh, yeah, it was a good, good win. Uh, yesterday, it felt good to, to make the hike and fly comps, uh, but we will see more in uh, two weeks. And um, we have to ask you about your team change. I mean, this sort of sent shockwaves. It just, it was like the fastest traveling news in the X Alps, I think. Can you tell us um, why that happened? Yeah, the. The, the reason was that we was uh, preparing and always feels good. And then in a, in a race, in a fly shuttle challenge, we felt that it's uh, that in, in, in one way we was efficient, but in one way we was not having so fun, especially the two supporters. It was uh, Thomas, as, as you know, and Linda, she was new. And they was not matching well to each other in the race pressure. And then we, f we say, OK, we can do the x race like we do. Um, but it's it's maybe not that fun. So for me, it was always important that we we have or we are a team, which, which we have always fun, mm. and we can make jokes and and and, and smiles. But um, it's not possible. So there are also moments which are hard. And if you already know after a two-day race that it's hard with the with the good moments, then in the X out race during 12 days it will not not be funny. And I already had this. Um, Tension. We had also analyzed different teams. They had uh, problems during the x race, race, uh, which it, uh, yeah, I, I think it's not it's not a good good way to, to move after. The fact was uh, in in the, in the comp was not working, and then um, the feelings, the emotions, and and finally it was me. They decide to to not uh, try to make it uh, finally happen because I felt on one way not that it not will be easy. And, and on the other side, I was, I was uh, quite sure to find person. Um, I not planned it before, so, but I was quite sure to find persons, friends. They will know each other and they can work in a in a in an efficient but also funny way together. Now we have the spe uh, special uh, special uh, team building that we have to switch team during the race because. Uh, <laughs> Lars is not able to stay all the day, all the weeks, and also uh, Lisa. He will change, and it will be interesting how how it works to change during the race. So we have an adventure in the adventure by itself. But on the, on the other side, it gives me a good feeling to 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 have also fun with him. Okay. Thinking about that pilot who has you know cross country pilot, not necessarily hike and fly pilot, but a pilot who has 50 hours, 100 hours. Um, what advice do you have for them? of how to progress in their, their flying career? Yeah, that's, that's a good question. It's an important question because um, I think the, 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 the way to fly, it's very easy with the paragliding spo sport. And it's very easy to, to make the first experience with, with free flying. Um, 
if you compare with car driving, you go to the school, to have a, you have a license, then you are allowed to fly by self. And after the first hours driving by self, you feel that it, uh, it feels special and a car you can stop at any time, but the flight not. So um, to be comfortable in the air, it needs a lot of hours. And to, to make the hours in a good way, I mean, um, staying in the air in terminals or soaring, and to, to, to work with the glider on the ground, ground handling, um, safety training, things like this, you can improve your, your feeling and your, your reactions. And that gives you more um, flexibility and a good feeling during maybe stressful situations. And I was, I was in a lucky situation when I was young. I was really motivated to fly, so I spent a lot of hours on the ground and when I got the license in the air. And this gives me many, many options. And th this is a good way to, 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 to improve. But on the other side, not everybody is lucky to, to, to be able to spend time in the air. So, and then maybe it's, it's good to have uh, a think about the goals. Uh, because comparing in social media especially, it's always dangerous. Uh, it can be dangerous because you compare with the best and you want to be as them but you not can spend the time to invest uh, to improve the skills. So adjust the goals with your time. This is very important. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Cool. Um, and just thinking back to the race again, is there any part of the race, any of the route uh, that you're particularly looking forward to? Yeah, many, many difficulties, but also nice part. The first part I, I already know well, uh, until Germany, Lermos, but in, in, the, in the part from Markholstein to Lermos, it's already a, a difficulty with not too many takeoffs because uh, we have to use the official one. And then, especially uh, the, the traverse from the Wallis to Frutigen, mm. uh, it's still a lot of snow. The same is with uh, Mont Blanc and Dufourspitze. Uh, we know there is still a lot of snow. That means if it's not flyable, that will be uh, really hard, spending a lot of time on the ground. And then for me, the, the traverse from Brenta to the Dolomites, into the Dolomites, this Via Ferrata. Um, yeah, it's far away, but it's also a, a part which I don't know how, how we can manage because of the snow also. And I, I know that Via Ferrata, they are difficult and with a lot of snow even more. And the same is with crossing the main ridge from uh, Italy back to Pinskau. It's the same. I saw the snow situation, and uh, I really hope that we can fly because walking it's not the, the way to win. Okay. Yeah, I saw there's quite a lot of snow still. That's the route. Um, we've done the equipment. Um, where are you hoping to get to on Sunday? On Sunday? Yeah. To be here at 12:30. And at the end of Sunday? <laughs> it's an adventure. Okay. Um, what's your What's your longest flight? Your longest A to B? Do you know? Like X contest distance uh, um, during the X Alps. I think 220. 220. So yes. do you think that with the weather you might go, you might manage yeah. a, a bigger flight than that? Yeah, yeah. It's uh, not here, not at the beginning, but maybe if we look the track between turn point um, Lermos, we can overfly Pitsbreen. Yeah. So it means we not have to land, and then the route from Pitsbreen to crossing Switzerland is on a really good track. So um, why not 240? 240. And what day do you think, given good weather? Yeah, that, like, uh, have you got a time? Give yourself a time for this. For the race? Yeah. 13 days. 13 days. <laughs> okay. We look forward to that. Thank you very much. Okay. <laughs> Cheers.